What is up, everyone? It's, it's the True JBK here, and I'd like to bring you guys a gameplay on actually custom games with some bots because I cannot stand public matches anymore. I'm downright done with them. I cannot stand it anymore. So just don't mind the gameplay. It's actually pre it, it's actually pretty good gameplay, but I'm not here to talk about gameplay. That what are we in 2008? No one cares about gameplay anymore. So yeah, let's uh, um, see what we can actually get into. And I actually turn off my Xbox. She's sitting right next to me on for no apparent reason. And that's on a blue screen. That's great. Uh, okay. First thing I'd like to see come back in the next Call of Duty. I think it's Call of Duty Ghost. I saw a video on uh, Le uh, Legend of Thunder. Uh, 4 to Thunder about this. I thought it was um, pretty interesting. Uh, picture at the end of the video if you guys want to check it out. Of the new Call of Duty. It's for all Call of Duty Ghost, I think I already said that, but yeah, Call of Duty Ghost. Something I would like in, in a new Call of Duty Ghost is the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers uh, cannot be equipable by just a normal player in this custom loadout. What do you think about that, by the way? Yeah, I think it's good. It should be like around a 7 kill streak or so. 6 or 7 kill streak? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, he's here too. <laughs> Um, yeah, like a 6 or 7 kill streak would be nice, because I okay, hate spawning and getting hit by one of those. It's really annoying. Next thing I'll just see come back is definitely the Blackbird, or the SO71, yeah. or the Orbital VSAT. Totally. I'll look at the name SO71. I think it fits it. I think it's really useful in this game. I didn't like the advanced UAV in uh, Mario for 3. I wasn't a fan of that. I didn't like it at all. Next, I uh, create a character, be able to make your own character. Um, like, have you had a spawn with like a beard, sunglasses, a hat? I don't know. Don't be jinxing people. Um, like, but you can like say your own colors and stuff. It's like it automatically sets it for you. Um, I don't know. That might turn it into like a uh, catastrophe. I don't know. It <coughs> really, really bothers me that they didn't add for. <coughs> Custom camos and custom reticles. <coughs> so you guys really bothered me. Because well, oh, come on, we're seeing now. all these camos, but yet, like you want to make your own really badly, but they just don't let you. I really like look forward to seeing that in the next Call of Duty. Well, you can actually kind of do it on the PC, but it's like yeah. kind of like a mod type yeah. thing. Like yeah. I, I played. Modern for two PC and I I tried to make my own camos but it didn't work too well. Kind of destroyed my Modern for two. That's a waste twenty dollars. I watched uh, a video on a guy that made a camo and he made a SpongeBob camo. His whole gun had like SpongeBob faces on it. Um, I'm actually like really in depth with this one. Um, the the type and time and the setting of the this new Call of Duty game. I think it's gonna be normal. The war going on, modern day, you know. I really don't know what's going on, but I would like it to be modern day or World War One. I. I think that would be really neat to be going back to World War One. Either that or the Revolutionary War or the Civil War. Yeah, but we're having a mixed thoughts about that and see which one would be uh, it would be kind of acceptable. It'd be cool if we went around with muskets and yeah. I don't know the old gun, all and, those old guns. And use a cannon and stuff. Yeah. yeah, that'd be really that'd be pretty neat. I like that. Imagine what the campaign would be like if it was like that. Yeah, the campaign would be pretty sick. So yeah, the video isn't over yet. We're still talking. Also, the knifing really bad. Yeah, the knife. Um, you guys are really gonna hate me for this one, but if somebody gets knifed, it puts them at the final stand, but they cannot use their pistol. Um. I don't, they really have no defense, they can't knife you in the leg or anything. Yeah, that's Call of Duty Ghost right there, if you guys want to, um, check that out. I thought that was really cool, I don't know if it's like a fake thing or not, I think it's legit. Yeah, the knifing should take at least two hits. Because, if you guys know, it's like the game, call it video games that's supposed to be real, but if you get knifed, or something like that, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna die, instantly depends if you get knifed in the face, or like the neck or something, you're probably gonna get an instant kill. 
But if you like knife someone, like you crouch, uh, they're gonna drop shot and you knife. I'm pretty sure no one ever knife does them that. Knife the foot or something. Yeah, they're gonna drop at the final stand. Same thing with throwing knives. Yeah, throwing knives. I, I kind of don't mind throwing knives, but I don't like getting hit in the foot and dying. It just slow your character down. That'd be nice. And the graphics. I think we should go back to COD 4 because they're spending way too much time on the graphics. Yeah, I would like them to put more time into the game. And new guns, like the DLC guns, is what yeah. they should do. Oh, we're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of time for today. Um, Like and favorite if you guys really enjoyed this.